Okay, and we should be live. And, oh, hang on. I have to actually do the sound thing real quick. Uh, All right, you don't want Arena blowing people's eardrums out every time. Especially not with the weird noises the Phyraxians are sure to make. All right, we want to turn the sound effects, like, way down. You want to turn the voices down. Because I don't uh, know if the voice is what the... That's uh, true, I don't need Phyraxianized Nahiri and Jace and whatnot screaming in our ears either. Hey. Honestly, I would have just turned the master sound down, but now you have ambiance. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Hey, anyway, let's hope that that stops the deafening noises that happen whenever I do... Oh, do we get more mail? Do we get more free stuff? We get more free stuff? Well, you get three packs. Instead of doing the code now in the store, you just open your mail. I appreciate that, because uh, we're eventually going to run out of snakes. things. Hey. Never mind those for right now. Hey, let's do this thing. No, not sealed. Um, What's the completely outmatched festival? Uh, it's for the Phyrexian artwork styles. Mm. Uh, color challenge midweek. Premiere draft. All will be one. Hey. hey, let's use that draft token I've been sitting on for forever. Has it actually been forever? Nah, it's been like three weeks. Hey, none of that sounds like ear splitting or anything. I will take your word for it, because I still don't have headphones. Eh, that's fair. Ah, <clears throat> uh, come on. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, come Only on, last up. person. Alright, and this thing is still tracking? Good. Alright. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Oh, yeah, that's... I don't, don't want that to happen again. That is Orobras Forge. It's a good aggro card. It's a really good aggro card, actually. Even though it's a three drop. It usually eats the first removal spell they have. See? You notice the little things? Oh, the, like right oh, on the yeah. fins? Huh. Yeah, I think that's how it eats. For those of you who are wondering about the flavor text, I think the little tail fins look like they have hinges and would connect to the mouths in the reverse part of the wing. I think that's how it eats, and I agree with Malera. That sounds horrifying. Uh, we have Serum Snare, the Halberd's okay, X Gold Slash, I love Blazing Crescendo so far. Oh, Halberd actually, I forgot the Halberd was a thing. Yeah, that mm -hmm. thing is nuts. Honestly, I kind of like it more than the Forge. I can see that. I mean, either way, it's going to die to artifact removal because it has to. Ah, there's a perfect thing to go along with the forge, though. Because <laughs> of course there is. I have to be immediately punished for all of my decisions. Okay, it's not, like, that bad. Also, we could probably wield a skull bomb and, you know, put all of the oil counters on and just start making 10-1 tramplers. Not like anything has first strike on defense. Double strike, maybe. First strike, no. Right. So, there's gotta be something that has first... I could have sworn there was... There's two creatures that have first strike when attacking only, right. and the one guy that has double strike all of the time. Mm. I think that's it for those abilities. I might be wrong, because I didn't want the mites to just get absolutely right. slaughtered constantly. They already get absolutely slaughtered constantly. They didn't need that, any help. That's literally what they're there for, though. Yeah. Right. I like Scrap Gorger. We're going to take Scrap Gorger. Oh, he's the mana dork. Okay. Yeah. Ah, can cool. We, we got, we got the, the big equipment and <laughs> another one of the little equipments. I think the halberd is better for what you're trying to do right now. You did, in fact, kill me with the chair, though. Yeah. That wasn't sealed. Yeah, the chair, the chair is like a good top-end card, especially if you have some ramp guys to make sure you get there before turn six. I kind of like the chair more, and we already have a halberd. Like, they're both decent, though. I would not mind either one of them. But... Uh, there's also... Well, there's also a Ruthless Predation, but... Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think we take the chair. Ooh, a 3-3 with Menace and a Volt Charge. Which one is the... Uh, he doesn't matter. Like, his game text almost never matters oh. unless they filled up on the non-basics. And, okay. Like, I curve into him on the play and they didn't get a so chance to play a non-basic. So he's a 3-3 Menace 3, got it. Yep. 
Yeah, that's still insanely good stats, though. Oh, yeah, he, he's a 3-3 menace for three. I'm just making sure he doesn't have more game techs that might be relevant. <sighs> or she. I don't know. I don't know either. It's a Phyrexian. Mm-hmm. Could be both. Or neither. <sighs> oh, there's a Carnivorous Canopy. Yeah, Thrill. If I'm leaning towards the Thrill, I wouldn't mind having a Carnivorous Canopy... I wouldn't mind having a Titanic growth, but I think Thrill I want to yeah. not flood. Yeah, Thrill is really, really nice to have. Free Vault, okay. a good home. Yeah, no, we're we're, we're in, in the, the right draft, color. Are you? Nope, we're, we're in a real draft with real people who don't really like that card. Apparently, who's the Spore Singer again? Oh, uh, plus two, plus two, and Vigilance or Proliferate, which mm. we don't have anything for Proliferate. And it's also a two-two Vigilance. Oh. For three Horrible. mana. Yeah, I think I either want the skull, the maze skull bomb, or the free from flesh, and I like the free from flesh more, so. Maybe, maybe we wind yeah, up I'm just waiting to find out that the forge somehow wheels to you. It shouldn't. It really shouldn't. <sighs> and um, cultivator. cultivator? Yeah. I actually like Cultivator being... I feel like getting on the board in this format is a bit more important. Like, one drops have a lot more value, especially with also two toughness. Also one-two, yeah. Yeah. Being able to block a Mite and block eat Block a it. Mite and then tap to get an oil counter. Oh, cool. Blazing Crescendo came back. Okay. Also, Incisor Glider is still there, which is kind of surprising. That thing's so good in the... Uh, three poison minimum deck. Corrupted. I mean, I've shoved that thing into a deck without much poison in it, because it is a nice flying body. Like, just give it your, um, the halberd or something and just watch it wreck your opponent. Eh, the halberd doesn't actually give stats. Oh. Oh, right, it makes a 2-2. It does. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, yep. I need... <laughs> no, it it's a first strike the, the travel chair. <clears throat> I think the fact that the halberd gives trample is what pushes it. Also, it's a two mana two two effectively. Yeah, I was confusing mm -hmm. making the two two for giving plus two, two plus, plus two. two. Yeah, sadly they're not living weapons. They don't give their buff forever. No, but they do give a lot of keywords. Uh, so so scamp. scamp is okay. He does give you a bit of reach, actually. He does. I'm wondering if I want the rebuke though to get rid of. Doomsday equipment. Also, most of my things so far, besides the battle chair, are cheap. So, expensive yeah. removal is okay if your guys are on the board already. Ah, cool. Well, I have three green cards that are all decent. So, so you're taking the Lightbringer and you're just hoping white stays open? So we're going to take the Lightbringer in case white stays open. Uh-huh. Hey. Right. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Prophetic Prism, because why not? Yeah. Okay. Kemba. Kemba. So about that white. Uh, Kemba or another cat on the battlefield under your control. Attach up to one target equipment you control to that creature. Equip creatures get anthemed and five mana make a token. And she's a two mana two two. So about that white. Like, I don't think you're green anymore. I. I literally can't pass her with what I have, even if no. I do wind up staying green. Like, I have to at least see you have if to try she gets there. Get her. Yeah. You have to try with something like that. Because I don't want to run two chairs, even if I was going to grab, like, a green card here. And none of the red is good enough yet. She's, like, miles better than everything else. Yep. Uh, well, I can have another halberd. Or I can have Planar Disruption. Albert's good. Planar Disruption is really good. There's another Free From Flesh. There's a part of me that wants the Halberd just so that way yeah. I have the second one. I don't know that we're going to get another Planar Disruption, but White seemed a bit underdrafted, whereas I don't think... I already passed the second one that I could have had, so... For the chair that I'm probably not running now. Also, it's a two-drop, and... It's a two this, drop two two. This format's strike. this format's a little too fast and to not have all Actually, of the two drops. I think we can stop right there. It's a two drop two two first strike trample. Only when it's attacking. It's a or two drop two two first strike trample. 
Right, the first strike and trample are on your turn. It, it doesn't get them okay. to block it. it. It's a two drop, two two, first strike, trample. I'm just saying, there, there are some creatures that you want to block in this format. And it might matter if this thing's attacking you. This one's also okay, but I think I, I actually her. like her. Yeah. I think she's actually better. I love, I love her so much, honestly. Like, the indestructible once is nice, but if you can't proliferate them, that's all it is. He gets through so much. He really does. Oh man, now we've moved into white, all we need to do is open the Wanderer Pack 3 and just win. <laughs> oh! Hello there, Hex Gold Hoverwing. See, I was gonna say all you need is the sword, but, you know, yeah, Wanderer, I'll... why not? Yeah, uh, sword's, sword's great. Sword's a mythic, but Wanderer's well, a rare. Well, Wanderer's Wanderer's a rare. <laughs> yeah, she is. Which is perfectly reasonable, because, you know... She can come down in wrath and live through her own wrath and stabilize your board and make it impossible for your opponent to kill her. Uh-huh. And, and she, then, she's almost and then start making two, two double without strikers. a hard removal spell. And she will lock down the board very, very quickly. And she's at a casting cost you can hit before dying. Uh-huh. Which might be format. relevant, because she will stop you from dying. Uh, and vanish. Vanish is kind of like the um, the vines in that I want to have one of it, but I don't want to load up on them. I like having it, but I have died to not being able to remove the creature. creature. That's a problem. Yeah. I have also used it to murder everything else. Yeah. Like the Wanderer. Wanderer. Jace. Any of the Planeswalkers, yeah. <laughs> Wanderer, Jace, Except Roska. for Kaya, because she refuses. Yeah, Kaya, you have to punch she, to death. She politely declines to be exiled. By, by your card effect. Oh. Well, he is right. good. We do have the the equipment is all artifacts to buff him too, so. I mean, just on his own, he's a 2-1 lifelink. Bannon? Um. Yeah, the other one should probably be in your deck, but... Uh... There's the 1-3, the Leonin, and another Mandibular. Mandible. Only a mandible. I mean, he's a lot of other things, but... I wonder if I want the 1-3. Like, I have a decent number of offensive threats. Do you want the 1-3? Oh, you have him now. Oh, yep. It's Isar Glider, by the way. Yep. And Charge of the Mites. Also Nahiri Sacrifice, which is really, really good for killing a bunch of X-1s. Which there are a ton of in this format. It is... It is really good for that, but you have one, two, and three drops, and one four drop. Like, the, well, okay, it's yours now. Yep. No take backs. Uh, all right, Terramorphic, come, come hang out with me. <clears throat> oh, that was pick nine, so. <clears throat> All right, I should be back before pack three, but just yell really loud if you happen to get the Wanderer or <laughs> something else insane. There we go. Plenty of Leonin Lightbringers coming back around. Yeah. He's still really good. Yeah, he is. That's why I'm happy he came back. Uh, yeah, probably want Sinew Dancer, but put him down here for now. Artifact and creature you control is put in a graveyard from battlefields, put an oil counter on it. Moves two when it attacks. Yeah. Alright, Whisper should not. Oh, hey, Koth. How's it going? Uh, so what do we get? We get search your library for a mountain, put it in your hand. Deals damage to our creature equal the number of mountains you control, and emblem. Mountain comes into play, deal four damage to any target. Alright. Like, Koth seems very playable. Annex Sentry is really good. Ah, oh, Koth. Yeah. Like, Annex Sentry is really good. It might. 
like, give me a, like, five or six drafts of this set, or, like, more time playing with Koth, and I might come to the conclusion that Annex this Entry was the correct one. Who's fallen by Infested Flesh Cutter. Possibly one of the best equipment to have. It just keeps making more three ones. It does make more three ones. Yeah, okay, I'm down. Oh yeah, it's one of the best aggro equipment in the, in the entire set. And nobody will convince huh. me otherwise. Hey, look, it, it's, um... Fireblade well, Charger. Fireblade Charger, thank you. Fireblade or Flameblade? I think he was Fireblade. Okay. Um... Ooh, another Planar Disruption, though. I didn't get the last one. Mm -hmm. I do like him a lot, but... I think maybe I need a way to stop big dumb creatures. Blade Hold War Whip? Yeah, it seems okay. Uh, there's... Apparently this is, like, ridiculously bugged on Magic Online. Online, right? Not Arena? Yes. Okay. Online, not Arena. Yeah, apparently it will show your opponent your entire deck. <laughs> Regardless of what you reveal. <laughs> okay. And then put the first creature that you were supposed to get into play. Hey, right, second Vault Charge. Ever a bad thing to have? Oh, hey, it's this thing. Uh, which one is the Cackler again? Uh, it needs the Oil Counters. Oh. It's a 2-3 Trampler. I mean, I have run him as a 2-3 Trampler, just, you know, for things like having good equipment to put on him. Sometimes his keyword is just good enough. Oh uh, no, can I get a 7th pick Wanderer? Can she wander over to me? Oh! No. It's a new format, people don't know. If you do, I'm going to call you a cheater and I'm watching you! I, I mean, we don't know any of these people. I don't think. I don't have to know people. I trust at least one person in a random draft pod to have a brain. Yes, but if it's the person directly to our left. <sighs> Listen, you can only have another flesh cutter. Or another I'm, duelist. I was going to say, I'm wondering if I want the other duelist now. I mean, they're both pretty good. There's also the charge, but I don't, I don't need the mic I stuff. do like charge, but I don't like charge that much. Because it's yeah. it is two one one. I, I can you, you can, I can have, have as many them. swords as I want, and or another or my first bladed ambassador. Actually, I don't know that I would run two of the sword. Is the thing like three mana to equip is a lot when the things can't block. I mean, fair enough, but I will. I do just keep attacking things. Think you want the shrapnel slinger? I think I do too, but there's some merit to mm -hmm. taking a slightly larger creature. Would you like another duelist. Over the furnace when I don't care about oil, yeah. Or non creature spells or artifacts coming into play. I think I would still want the duelist over some of those. <clears throat> well, it depends on if I had any of the things that cared about that, it would depend on what they were. And I might have, I've only seen them, like, once. What yeah, see? I can have them. Sure. I can what also have them. actually do? Oh, uh, he pluses to get me a mountain. He minus threes to, like, murder something for four damage. And, like, permanents, not players. Right. Um, or whatever. Uh, and then his ultimate is I get an emblem. Whenever a mountain comes into play, I deal four damage to any target. Mm. Does he start on? Uh, he starts on four, and he upticks by two to get the mountain. Alright. Ah, cool. I only need five cuts, and I don't have anything particularly crazy up here. Oh. Excuse me. OT. Rolling creature. Alright. But the War Whip's secretly a creature, the two Halberds mm -hmm. are secretly creatures, and the Hoverwing is secretly a creature. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine. So I want to cut at least one of these non-creature cards. Probably the free. Eh, it's super cheap, though. Like, the oil counters aren't doing me any good. I don't think, like, I don't think anybody cares about them. Actually, okay, seriously. Oh, he does. Literally, literally the ambassador does. Okay, he's amazing if you put it on, but seriously, do you want Nahiri Sacrifice? Your highest thing is four. Yeah. I mean, I know that's four one one mites killed or four X one. I, I was gonna say I care more about killing like four X ones or something than I do, or killing a two toughness creature and a one toughness creature. If it was instant, I would say definitely include it because oh, that, then be they go to remove your guy, and all of a sudden you fling it at three of theirs. Yeah. Yeah, there's a reason why it's not an instant. I know there's a reason why it's not an instant, but still. Alright, the 1 3 cares about your oil counters. Yep. Actually, if I have her, maybe I can get rid of Thrill. Because then she's a 1 3 that can kind of. Almost do the same thing. I kind of like Thrill better than her, not gonna lie. I like it better than her, but Thrill doesn't block aggressive creatures that are trying to murder my face. Like, effect-wise, yeah, I like Thrill more, but for actually being a creature that can get into combat with the opponent's stuff... Which one is the Crescendo again? Uh, plus three, plus one, and exile the top card of your deck. Hmm. Out rid of rebuke, you could probably make this a 16 land deck. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. No, I know you're not. Yeah. Oops. I got rid of Rebuke and it swapped which one of them had more of it in there. I was like, but but we had nine because of Koth, right? Not not because of... Oh, silly person, you had nine because you had the extra red card. <sighs> hmm. Hmm? No, your soda is actually blocking my line of view in case chat had anything to say. But it's just stream elements announcing that I'm live. I wish chat had things to say. Oh, we'd have more people here to talk things with. Yeah, they could tell me how terrible I'm doing, why I'm so bad at magic, you know, typical internet stuff. Or they could actually be nice and want to stick around and have a good time playing magic with you. Uh, it does happen. <laughs> it's probably one of the two drops. It might might actually be the Justicar at this point, because we didn't get any toughness boosting. No, equipment. I can see that. And I like all of our other two I drops like a little bit better. better than him, yeah. Plus, yeah, that's true. These guys are also two drops. <clears throat> hey! Well, let's be aggro about this and mm -hmm. see if we kill everybody before they get to do anything. Or if we get slowed down early on and then we just die to six and seven drop bombs that we can't deal with. In this set... No, oh right, I'm I'm at bronze rank. Ho hopefully, we run into people that are new to magic and not <coughs> people that well, are on, new that's to arena. Nice to people that are new to magic. But we'll we'll run them over real quick. It'll make me look like I'm good at the game for a minute. You know. Um. Uh, well, I have a 16 land deck, and I have two lands in my opening hand, and a one drop and a two drop. So. Mm -hmm. I think I'm contractually obligated to try and find that third land by turn four. In the meantime, just go with it. Ah. Great, a creature that gets in my way. Mm-hmm. Hey. Oh. Go, go get him, Halberd. Yeah. 
Yeah, one mana, one twos just mm -hmm. kind of ruin. Ah, and now it flies. Thank God I only have to drop one. Ah, oh, and I found my third land. Neat. Um. Yeah, we can bolt charge later. Right now, I want to get the damage going. Oh, hey, the tokens are still doing that wiggle animation. I didn't notice it for the other one. Uh, when the tokens come in, for some reason, they appear to wiggle. Um. I'm debating if I want to kill the venerated rot priest and go for seven here. I suppose not. The one one's holding back their 2 1 right now on the ground. Hey. Keep playing first strike attacking creatures. Oh, you win this shot. Oh, I'm about to be corrupted. So let's see what that gives them. Nothing? Actual nothing? I just want to go over and sing to your opponent. So you can vault charge them twice now, right? Yep. And I don't want to deploy any more creatures because they're on five mana. Mm -hmm. If they play the Wanderer here, they just get to die and that'll be hilarious. Ooh, I love that. That's great. They think they have time for that one. They are wrong. Unless they have life gain here. And even then, they're gonna have to chump block, so... Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, no, even if they kill your tokens, they're killing tokens. Mm -hmm. Hooray! We did it. We played a very aggro deck, and we aggroed them to death. <clears throat> hey, hey. I just need to do that six more times in a row, and I'll be the best Magic player ever, and everybody will say, <laughs> Wow, Saber, you're so good at this game. Well, that is one drop, two drop. I know. And we have the double red for Koth, so even if we keep hitting mountains, we do get to Koth in two turns. Yeah, okay. Once you hit mountain, double mountains for Koth, you just keep hitting mountains with them. Yep. Go get a mischievous little scamp. Oh, he doesn't afraid of one twos, that's for sure. Okay. Listen, you just summoned a 1-3. I want you to know that. Can you summon a planes now, please? Because I could really use one. Um, I mean, I summoned it to your opponent last time, so do you want me to? Because they seem to be stuck on color. <sighs> cool. They're going to draw out of it sooner, because they're going to draw... Although, mm -hmm. they should have cast that on their main phase and tried to find the mm -hmm. land. So, at least my opponent's doing that for me. Hey, there's your planes. Yep. Everything's better forever now. I know, right? Hey, right, let's play a 3-2. Let's say I have a 1-3. Oh, are you going to counter my mm -hmm. spell? Well, better this than Koth.
Yeah, so they tried to leave up the counter spell rather than trying to hit their third land on time. Which, you know, then I missed my spell, but that let them actually counter the thing later on. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll just play cough, and then they'll have to... I guess I'll have to minus him immediately and kill that thing in case they make it a giant unblockable creature. Yep. Now they find their fourth land. Oh, they found oh. their fourth land. I haven't seen another color from them yet. Nope, they are mono blue. <sighs> They're not corrupted, so I think that counter spell only hits three or less, right? Uh, no, the counter spell is pay two if I'm not corrupted. Hmm. <clears throat> I just run out double two drops? I think so, for the first turn anyway. <clears throat> Make them have it first. Oh, apparently it's giving they do. them priority. Eh, it doesn't have to be that. It could just be a thing to <coughs> let them put their fourth counter on the synthesizer. That way, it's a three-three. I mean, it's a three-three, but are they really going to try to attack with it? Depends on if they have proliferate and they're just missing their color. Is it the bounce spell? They're going to bounce and proliferate. <clears throat> Have you got an opponent? A cool thing. Yep, yeah, that's what it is. found their other color. Apparently it was also white. They are going to attack now. Because they have a 4-3 flyer. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Do you minus Koth to kill the 4-3 and then hit them for 5? I think so, and then make them kill Koth for their turn. Uh, so that seems like a pretty good plan to me. And if they don't kill him, it's just amazing for you. Yep. Discarded Raptor. Hey. In it, I'm down. I'm ready to fight. Number of mountains you control. Oh! I thought he was four damage, just straight up. Well, that's a bad... Wow. Yeah, nope. Okay. Plus, we get a mountain. Still make them kill him next turn. We yep. have the high ground. Because now they have to kill him next turn, or he is going to kill their thing. Yep. Yeah, no. I was sure he was just three damage straight up. For his minus. Well, it's a new set. I have to misread at least one card. Yep. Um. Yeah. Oh well. It's a shame because they are just going to kill him now, and then I still have you to don't kill know the flyer. Do. That's true. They should still kill him now. They should. Maybe they won't. Always allow your opponent the chance to be stupid. allow your opponent the chance to be stupid. Listen, they're thinking about what they're going to do with the rest of their turn. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Stop fighting. Oh. oh, cool. They just have infinite 4 3 flyers. <laughs> that's that's gonna go super well for me at this rate. Uh, how big is the, is the token 3 power in the air? Yes. It is. Okay. Yes, it is. Hey. 
Oh, first things first. Let's exile one of them. And since I can't block. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we'll be fine for right now. Oh, my opponents proliferated enough where they just got to draw two cards. So, uh, that seems... Yeah, this whole game is going to go pretty poorly for me unless I get more stuff soon. Even then, the hover wings are only stopping the 4-3 from murdering my face. Like, I'm gonna have to pass it around in order to actually deal damage to them. Ah. have a surgical skull bomb. I guess they're bouncing my yep. token then. Yep, that's fine. That's not the token I most care about right now. Okay. I mean, yes, they are winning that race. That does make sense for them to do. You have infinite cards in your hand, opponent. What are you gonna do to me? <clears throat> I kind of hope they waste their entire turn doing something that doesn't impact the board. Oh, I would love that, but I don't think that's happening. No, I'm pretty sure they're gonna yep. kill my flyer and attack me for seven again and put me dead on board to the three power unblockable dude. You mean like that? Yeah, pretty much. Alright, so I need a Volt Charge now, and for them to not have a counter spell. That's a mountain. Mountain was not what I said. Alright, so three, four, five, six, seven maximum? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you just lost this one. Yeah, I did. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I get for misreading cough. <clears throat> Technically misremembering cough, because... I would have had to have read him recently in order to have misread him. <clears throat> ah, cool. Everybody's gonna say, hey, that Saber guy really sucks at magic. He's losing to bronze players. It's okay. I didn't have a follow-up for that one. It's just okay. I noticed. I, you know, it's okay. And I'm waiting for you to say anything else. And it's like, no, I wasn't going to say anything. It's like, yeah, it's the that's the impression I got too, is that you were just done with that sentence. It's okay that you suck. It's fine. You know, I don't. still love you. You're still my brother. <laughs> oh, look at them with all their fancy lands. If I had drawn the Menace Guy, I'd be wrecking their day right now. Apparently. Instead, they just gave you a poison counter. That's okay. I'll live. Maybe. Would you like to sacrifice and to proliferate your own poison counter? Um, no. I think I want this one because they're blue. And that way, if they do mm. have the bounce card, they have to bounce a creature. And it's still a 2 2 first strike, mm -hmm. so. That one is awesome. <clears throat> Oh, hey. Yeah, it's the eye. I mean, I'm a big fan of it. I was using it to kill people. Hmm. I might need some land at some point in time. Nah, you got this one. I'm not entirely kidding. I know you're not. I was gonna say, even if you're kidding, I'm not. I might actually have this one. Uh, decline that. Lay out another 2 mana 2 2 first strike on attacking. There was a minor temptation to crescendo them there and try and hit my land <laughs> instead. Well, now instead you can do something about this. Yep. Something else about this. Oh, hang on, because I'd rather hit my land if they give me the option. Yep. Oh, 
line. Yep. Seems legit to me. Ooh, play like the 4 4 that. That's not the 4 4. I was gonna say no, play the. But it turns the other thing into a 4 4. Yeah, but I don't care about that thing. Oh, actually, I kind of do, right? When he dies. The 1 1 when he dies, you draw a card. Yeah, but this will kill their 1 1 blocker. Go for it. So we jump that, don't take 4. This thing dies, and we get to kill their 1 1. So, yeah, they get to draw a card, but they have no blockers now. It's okay, they have three mana. Just draw a card. Yep. Now they get to draw another card. Mm -hmm. Alright, any order. Why is it taking them so long? <laughs> this is what you guys do. Alright, they can get back the eye, but they don't have enough mana. Hey, right. um... Yep, yeah, which is why I just want to do this, I think. If I do this, I put them to one. Same time, if you just hold it, then all of your guys are still lethal next turn. Yeah. Also, your opponent's now corrupted. More importantly, they're still dead to Volt Charge off the top, so... <laughs> like, doing the extra damage. If it put them within range of the Volt Charge... <laughs> okay. That, that was one of those that was technically all they had, so... May as well do their damage. <clears throat> yep. I just love the head exploding as the thing comes down. It's like, no, we're done here. Go get him. You deal with him. <clears throat> Don't worry. Don't worry, little <laughs> eye monster. You've got this one. As for me, I'm out. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. The most lands I've had in my opening hand yet. Yeah, but that's also that also makes it the worst hand. Because <laughs> it didn't go one drop, two drop. Yeah, it's just true. one two drop, three drop. <laughs> it might go two drop, other two drop. Listen, you have infinite turns to go two drop, other two drop. Apparently. Yeah. Assuming I draw another planes. Because if I draw another mountain, I can only play a two-drop next turn, and that's kind of awkward. Mm -hmm. oh, doesn't afraid of anything. Oh, All right, we have Kemba. <laughs> Do not want to play her pre-combat. I was thinking that she would get the equipment, but yeah, I should have played her pre-combat and gotten the extra damage. You're right. All right. I was actually... I, I, <laughs> deal. You you may cast Experimental Augury. <laughs> yeah, if they had a counter spell, that is definitely something to hit with it. Trying to figure out how they murder her. Oh. Let's show these scrapheads. Yeah, ma makes a 2 2 death touch. And now they can bounce their guy and activate him a second time to draw a card. Hmm. To one target creature, what? I can run circles. Can't attack or block. Hey. So we disruption the death touch guy and just kill Kaido and deal them three? 
I guess so. Yeah, it's true. They can't exactly bounce the Death Touch guy. They can potentially bounce Kaido. Kaido has a bad feeling about this, by the way. I know you can't hear him. Ah, hey! A 5-5 five, five, <laughs> first strike. Protection from multicolored. Good news, you don't have multicolored. Uh-huh. I know that is the least relevant part of his game text, but good news, you don't have multicolored. Hey. I was gonna say they're not walking. Now they discard the two drop. Oh, different two drop. Oh, right. Oh, they destroyed her. Wait, no, they destroyed her. Oh, it's casting cost. Right, it doesn't deal damage. It's casting cost to determine what the Manticore destroys. And she's only a two drop, so. And now they have a small army. Mm -hmm. And I only have three mana, so I can't draw the thing and kill the 5-5 five five yet. I attack with everything, I don't get to do what I want. Uh, attack with everything? <clears throat> well, if you equip your Leonin, he would get extra power. Yeah, it'd still only be four, though. I mean, the Flesh Cutter will give him four, five, six on next turn if you want. Assuming he's still alive. I mean, yeah, but then they have to discard a card, and then he has board two, and that, I mean, like, four, oh, right? I mean, they're almost dead. They're at seven. I don't need to do a lot to finish them off. Also, they might get kind of cute and start attacking me or something. Well, they discarded a swamp. Oh, right, the token. Yep, it's casting cost, so discarding a swamp kills the token. Options are the 5-5 five, five jumps in front of the 6-3. Ah, okay. The Anoint makes that really bad. I was actually perfectly fine with that before the Anoint. <laughs> that was what I wanted to have happen, but... Because then they would have gone to 5. Nope, they have to discard the only card in their hand. Mm -hmm. And kill the token. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now they can't play the card or they lose their thing. Yep. Which unfortunately is still working out better for them than it is for you. Yep. Oh good, a 3-3 menace. That is really good. Relevant, idea. yep. Oh yeah, no, I I was not being sarcastic there. It's like, oh good, a 3-3 menace. to a land here. The Manticore is indestructible? Uh, no, the Manticore is first strike first protection strike. from multicolored. Okay. Hey, if they want to block the five power guy, they gotta block with both of them and take five anyway. Yep. And now they block. Oh, right, the 2-2 two -two can't block. 
Yep. So as soon as I discard the card on their turn, then... done dealing regular damage to you yet. Yep. I was confused why they were at five. Um, yeah. Oh, I was trying to say good game back to them, but they oh. wanted to know if I wanted to proliferate my poisons. <laughs> oh, well. I like Sorry, you a salty winner. Sorry, opponent, I, I meant to say good game back. I, I really did. But I was resolving proliferate and I had poison counters on me, so I wanted to make sure I wanted to add another one to my face real quick. I mean, it wouldn't have killed you. <sighs> so at that point, you're just a willing convert. <laughs> and honestly, I think the Phyrexians appreciate that about people. So well, they're finally willing to just take all of the machine parts. One drop, two drop, three drop, but is my non-aggressive two drop. On the bright side, if it looks like I'm flooding out, I can discard extra planes now. Mm-hmm. Also, my opponent's mulligan, so... Right, that should, I guess. That should help my win percentage significantly. Hey, go get him, Cacophony Scamp. They have a one two. I wasn't afraid of one twos. Would make him a little bit sad though. Fine. Yep. Yeah. Play the O three because they play double green and have a white skull bomb. Wouldn't be surprised. That's okay, though. I just get to play three. Oh. Uh, oh, good. I really am going to discard all these extra planes. Um, but first I jam for some damage, I think, and just cast the Leonin. You need to pay for the engraver, right? Because... Uh, removes oil counters from it. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's going to cost two. Nope. Fine. We play a 3-2 with Ward while my opponent's stuck on two mana. Well, not stuck. Yeah. They're they just haven't missing had a, a color three. based on the uh, color of the skull bomb they played. Also, they didn't crack the skull bomb to look for anything, so yeah, I might have wanted to do that. You're not the boss of them. I wanted to do that last turn. I don't know. You're not the boss of them. I know I'm not the boss of them, but I kind of feel like maybe, just maybe. Um. All right. Want to look for an equipment for her real quick? Yeah. Want to look for a cough real quick? <laughs> All right, let's jam for four. I mean, if you actually play him and he just starts plussing on this board, your opponent is already losing. Yeah, I need a second mountain to plus, though. Yes. Or to cast him in the first one. I don't need a second mountain to plus. I need a second mountain to cast him so that I can plus him. Yeah, we'll just hold the planes, because I might want to loot again. Six, seven, eight. Yeah. That's yeah, way more damage than your opponent can comfortably deal with. Still missing a color. Yep. I don't know if they had a three drop that would have helped them last turn, but they did. I'm pretty sure they feel silly right now. Oh, look at all those prizes I'm claiming. <clears throat> I mean, yes. That is generally what happens when you win games of magic on Arena. Oh, great. Now I'm going to murder a baby panda in front of, you know, one viewer, potentially? Somebody watching? I can't see. It says one viewer, but I don't know if it's counting the um, It might bot. be counting you. <laughs> it might be. Um... I have no white, but I have two two drops and a menace three drop. And all I'm missing out is being able to play the chorus first turn. Yeah, basically. Hey. Yeah, 
Like, it's a very aggressive group of two drops and the three drop that I can cast off any land, so. Oh man, me, Skull Bomb. Well, thank goodness I'm gonna at least be able to play my other two drop next turn when I don't draw my land. But I'd really like to draw my land and play this Punisher. Mm -hmm. Also, I'd like if my opponent played a tap land because they just had one, and then I get to play the Punisher and deal them with extra. I am one million percent okay with that. <laughs> If my opponent has that much removal to spare, uh, then you want the other halberd. <laughs> you want the halberd in the chorus. Hmm. Like that the, is true. I was gonna say play the chorus first. First, just so auto tapper doesn't. Play. Yeah, auto tapper was ready to know. Okay. I saw the token move. Yep. They do that. That is a thing that they do. Oh, my opponent is three color. Maybe they're four color. Maybe they're gonna cast a Traxa this game. Ah, uh, don't will that into existence. I'm pretty sure she is actually horrifying to fight against. Yeah, but she's also seven mana, I think. Or six mana? I think she's three plus the four colors that she is, so. Uh, I mean, I finally got Gatherer working on my phone if you want me to go look. Nah. Or we could just not and just never run into her. Hey, I'm just gonna play the Lightbringer because it's got Ward and they're on three mana still, so they probably can't kill it. Yep, they have two one ones, and one of them can attack me. I mean, if they use the Skull Bomb, one of them can attack me and get through for damage. I was gonna say, both attack you. They can. They're not going to, but they could have. Yurks taps for any mana right now, right? So, if they got a, if, I was gonna say, if they got a trick, they can cast it. Hey. Okay. Uh, that's six damage coming at them. Okay, two, three, or three, three, getting nowhere. Yep. Yeah. Oh man, if they had just played Murex turn two, I could have Furnace Punisher them and they'd be at nine right now. And probably less. Oh, well, that's a Rot Priest. Yeah, it is a Rot, rot Priest. He costs how much mana to make them? <sighs> they got priority before. I feel like they have... Oh, the one mana trick is plus only two, plus... plus two, um... No. Those are two mana tricks. The one that gives some extra stuff if they're toxic is a two mana trick? Yes. So the only one they could have is the plus one, plus one, and if I'm super poisoned, it's... Oh, plus, plus two, plus one. Plus two, two, plus one in first strike, yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. I am now, but... That doesn't save the fight. Nope. Alright. So... They block... Well, they can block anything, but it's not Death Touch right now, so they would take three, four, five, six, go to five? Yep. Yeah, no, I'm down. I mean, if they have the enchantment now, they can kill the 2-2 two -two or the 3-2, but... Mm. Yeah, I mean... Okay. Take three, four, five, six, go to five. So I need to deal them two more damage. So play the scale. Yep. Yeah, scam's really bad for them because now they don't even get to like toxic me here because the other thing has first strike. So I could block with the scamp and kill the mite before damage. Mm -hmm. Also, they still can't block the 3-3 three -three at all. Nope. Yeah, everything's awful forever for them. So... They give me two poison counters, I go to five. But this is only when it deals combat damage, so... Yeah, okay. Coming up with five poison counters on as many land. Hmm. 
So that's gonna kill my 3-3 three, three menace dude. Yep, and present another one. But that's okay, because I'm pretty sure that kills them now. Uh, oh no, wait, I'm a white mana short. Okay, because they no, got block, block. They block, but the scamp can sack himself. Sack himself regardless, yep. Hey. Okay. Also, there's Koth, and I have three mountains. Um, but he can't deal players, right? Or a creature, yep. Hey. Right. Well, let's just kill my opponent instead of being all cute about it. Hey, this one I got to say good game to before they were dead. Or as they were dead. <laughs> While they were still on the screen. Nobody tell Yul Nav. Nobody tell Yul Nav. I just murdered a baby panda. Well, I'm pretty sure he's not here. Nah, he's not one of the ones that came over to follow. Actually, no, he might have followed me. I mean, I don't. I was gonna say I only see one of them. Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> so he could be watching right now. He could be horrified. <laughs> well, I have a two drop, two mountains, and Koth, so I feel obligated to keep this and try. Oh, hey, another two drop, just in case I don't have a three on turn three. Oh, they have a Blade and Ambassador. Actually, that helps a lot more for having the three on turn mm -hmm. three. Um, so I want to cast this one because I don't want to have to spend the mana on the Ambassador. Oh, they are just going to block and try and... Okay, I'm down. Want to throw your 2 2 first strike into it? I'm th I think that I do. I want to see what it is and if how much mana it costs them to do it. Because if their he whole thing the is just to block and remove the counter, then that's fine. You want to try and stop it as the That's the question. question now is do I want to try and kill it or do I just want to deploy two more creatures after this? Those are two really good creatures to throw out. Yeah. Or you can throw out the Scamp and the Flesh Cutter, and that's just awful for them. Because then you can equip it, and then he's a 3 1. Yep. Yeah, it's fine. He's lost his counter now, so. Mm -hmm. So now if they randomly kill my 1-1, one -one, it definitely kills the Ambassador, unless they have another trick. Yep. Um, didn't hit my third land. Fourth land. Fourth land. I knew what I meant. Hey. You yeah, know, this is just... Oh, are they got punch him in response? Ah. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm gonna hold back, because I still hold off the Ambassador. I want to trade one for three. Mm. Well, I got a whole lot of options with that thing. But I think... I just want to do this now. I can always kill the incisor glider with shrapnel slinger if I need to. And jam for one. Actually, if you wanted to, you can shrapnel sling slinger the scamp and kill both their creatures. Mm, right, it's anything to. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. I always think that it's him because that's the one I normally want to sacrifice, but yeah. I do want to sacrifice him. Or the crawling horse. No shortage of volunteers. I do like the idea of killing both of their creatures here, though, and getting in for three. Mm -hmm. 
and then playing the chorus afterwards. Plus, I have the man up in case they want to do something cool to my ambassador instead. Yep. Yeah, mouse over every part of the battlefield and then their hand. Yep. Do they want to stop this from happening? Can they stop this from happening? They can, in fact, stop that from happening. But they've chosen to protect that thing. So they lose their 3-1, unless they got something else. They got something else. They really have something else? Who's giving them priority for something there? I know. I'm just saying, they really have something else? That they want to use on their 3-1? They might. Or to protect... Yeah, to protect the 3... I was thinking... three. You said 3-1, and I'm thinking they still have the 1-3... And I'm thinking they wanted to fight, maybe. Mm. Oh, nope, they had the option to deal damage to my creatures. Oh, yeah, that's gonna get Rot Priested real hard now. Alright, how are you gonna Rot Priest it? Or not Rot Priest. I'm going to kill the Rot <laughs> Priest, rather. Oh no, his name is Slaughter Singer. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna Volt Charge him. Um, so, yeah, I get my two poison. Yep. Yeah. It happens. Yeah, I would love to put another counter on him, thank you for asking. Um You wanna because you want the chorus to attack or yeah and you might get any bad. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care what it is, I just want to make mm -hmm. them use it on a might. It just... Okay, I a tiny bit care that it's specifically that one. The one that, yeah, it can tap one of my dudes for like four mana. Also, high cost. Yep. The only like, problem is I can... you can't do everything. I might not need to do everything, though. If I play Koth, I get the Mountain, and then I leave up the Ambassador's activation, and they can attack Koth from one. You want to attack with the Might first? Because he's not, like, he's not even involved in their turn. Yeah, it's true. And they do have the option to do something bad. That is true. I can do anything else with the Might. So we play out Koth. Oh, did I play a land already that turn? I thought I didn't I play a land. Don't think you did? Yeah, it just ended my turn and I didn't think I played a land either. Maybe I did? Hmm. I don't think you did. That's yeah, okay. They're attacking me and I can Volt Charge the 1-3 next turn so it can't do anything else. So now they've got this guy online, but that's okay. Koth can kill it. So, so you if they tap too low. You don't even really need to bolt charge it? Like, wow. Oh, they're gonna vanish Koth. Oh, of course they are. That's fine. Can't end this way. It's okay, Koth. We, we got this one. Play a mountain. Um, one three definitely has to die. I mean, the problem is, is that the 1-1 one, one is also bad, but, yeah. 1-1 one, one is bad, but he's also a 1-1, one, one, which their entire board currently is. Yep, let's get them corrupted. Mm -hmm. Or trade off for the 1-1, one, one. yeah, no, both, both absolutely fine. Right. Yeah, you have yeah, but they can tap the duelist and then attack me for two poison. Three. But then oh, they no, can't sorry. tap my bladed ambassador on attack, so. Mm -hmm. I'm cool with that. Also, I don't know what their hand looks like, but you've got more resources to throw out, so. Mm -hmm. 
As long as they don't have anything horrifying. Oh, okay. Yep. No, that's kind of what I was expecting. I don't think they have any other good options right now. Oh, I could have used that planes before. So we hit them for five. Puts them to eight. Hey, let's see if they got anything cool. Oh, just one straight damage. Uh... Do they have to tap your guy again on offense? Yep. And I don't think they can afford that right now. Depends how hard they can proliferate. Yeah, they want to leave the guy back to block. So, yep. Block here. They play their trick. I play my trick. I eat their guy. Uh, they do get to draw a card, but... Annoying. I also get to put two oil counters. Well, I get to put them on the duelist, but whatever. <laughs> well, it gave them priority. Uh, the tapper is it what's giving them priority. Hey. Of course, they have another don't. glider. Well, that probably killed me. Oh. Okay. Oh, he's white too. Oh, right. He tapped all of their white man. I missed that. Huh. Auto tapper wins for you? Maybe. I mean, they still get to hit me for two, four, five, six here. So they don't need. Well, they can't activate that at least. But that is it does give them. Horrifying. It does give them another creature. So I need to draw my. Wait, did I use both volt charges? Oh, I... oh yeah, yeah. You did. Alright, so those aren't options, and I used the one pump spell. Yep. Oh, um. I can draw a Vanish. Hmm. But that won't actually kill him, no, and I draw planes. Him. Yep. And the 7 7 trample is going to eat your face. Oh, yeah. In the combat, they tap my dude. And I lose. Because then they tap my other dude. Yeah, unfortunate. Well, they're getting cute. They're going to draw a bunch of cards now. Maybe they get distracted and don't kill me. Well, they drew another plane, so Auto Tapper can't get them for me now. Nope. Unfortunate again. Listen, they got them once. They don't oh right, the, glider. the ambassador is giving me priority, so may maybe I tricked them. It's hilarious if they don't attack with the glider. Nope, not only did they attack with the glider, they're sending in the other guy. Okay. And they're going to tap my dude before blockers in response to the trigger. Yep, they figured it out. Again, unfortunate. Think they figured it out? There it is. I wonder uh, if they're okay. trying to figure out why you haven't conceded yet. Because I needed them to commit first? <laughs> I needed them to actually kill me. Not not almost kill me. It's like, I have an infinite combo. Demonstrate it to me. I need to know you know how your infinite combo works first. Mm -hmm. But then I will concede that you have won the game. Hey, well, I got the five wins first, so, you know, at least if we lose, I'm up gems. You're up gems to begin with. Use draft token. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. I mean, your opponents aren't giving me too much to work with for side commentary here. Which I'm, I'm kind of glad for, actually, because I'm still not completely over the one opponent that would not attack you with a 4-3 lifelink. Didn't want to put the equipment on the 3-1 lifelink. 
You know, I went back and watched the VOD of that stream just to make sure how much life he would have gained, and he would have bought himself a turn and a half. Ah, cool. I go first, and I have one drop, two drop, three drop, and a combat trick. And the three drop is a two-two double striker. In there, Slinger. Don't yep. swing that chorus. I'm thinking, uh, it could, but. Oh, right, because it could target itself. No, it I can't. think. Right? You may sacrifice a creature. Though. Opponent controls. Oh, hey, it's Jorkadine. Neat. Yep. Um. Besides die horribly in a fire, what does that do? <laughs> oh. I'm pretty sure it's about to. No? Okay. No, he's not. Yeah, he's not yep. I just had to make sure. Um. When he attacks, uh, gets plus X, plus X, where oh, X is the number of equipped okay. creatures, then if his power is four or greater, you draw a card. Okay, so he's all in on the equipment deck, then. Yep. So the question is, does he have a better equipment deck than me? And how sad am I that my Shrapnel Singer is in play right now? The answer is probably very. Oh, it's hiding my equipment. You jerk. I mean, that's hilarious if it blocks the tutus. Yep. It wasn't going to, but that's hilarious. It blocks the two twos. Now I can't properly attack you. I mean, I guess it could, but yeah, cool. It's an ossification. Yep. So they grab the three one. Cause... Yep. Really, the way to stop him? And. Are they hitting you for two, I guess? Or do they want to hit you for three because they're not blocking any? No? Okay. Nope. Yep. They are scared of what I might do to their 2 2. Or their 1 4, rather. They're not really scared about what I might do to their 2 2. Now they're suddenly not scared of what you might do to their 1 4, so they have the trick? They have the trick, probably. All right. I was gonna say, do you just let them go? No, we we make them have it. I mean, they did, and we both knew they had it. And mm -hmm. of course, it's that one. It's totally yeah. That one. Oh right, he is a he does have the thing, so he does get to draw a card. Okay. Sometimes I forget that the one four actually has that ability. Oh, eh, well, one -one. yeah. Now they have a one one to block with. Now do they attack? with the 2-2? Two two or the 1-4? No. Ah, yes. Okay. I'm down. I take two. Please cast spells on him. Pump him. <laughs> pump him to death. Post, post his trigger. Pump him. Yes. Oh my god, yes. Thank you. Also, I have enough to activate Kemba. Hey. Go, mighty army of 2-2s. They thought about it. <laughs> oh my god. How do you find one of these every time I'm here? They, they just want to show up and be attracted to your magnetic personality, I guess. <sighs> Literally right after I'm talking about the guy that kept messing up with his own stuff, too. Hey, we almost have this just by activating Kemba repeatedly, so I think we're I just going to activate him with the two twos. Yeah, but then they have easy blocks the first time, so uh, I'm glad you have Kemba with all of all of those land. Yep. Well, now they can trade real things for tokens. Yep. Okay, they can trade real things for a real thing. Alright, I'm down. Let's go for it and see if it happens. Yep. Because pretty sure it just happened. Yep. Thank you for putting them out of my misery. <laughs> and then we get to put Planar Disruption on Jorkadine. 
No, like, seriously, I tell the story about the guy that wouldn't put the equipment on his thing, and then somebody misses a free card draw. Because they're using a combat trick they didn't need to use. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, I, I appreciate that they just wanted to get some extra damage in. And that they didn't get to... They didn't get to draw the card from doing it pre-combat, and they didn't get to draw the card because from targeting a toxic creature. Yep. Well, I don't know what my opponent is, but I know what they're not. I think your opponent is Liliana. Hmm. Definitely not a bear, then. I don't think Liliana is a 2 2 for 2. No, I think. I can't what her stats were. Uh, 2 3 for 3. She was a 2 3? Yep, okay. she is a Hurloon Minotaur. Okay. I am okay with that one. Oh, so we now have Double Mountain for Cough. Oh, joke's on you. Your small bomb is gonna put oil, put oil counters on. I guess this guy? Also, you're going 2, 3, and 4. All of those have keywords that you really want on your creatures. Yep. Yep, oh, they're secretly red green. Joke's on me. I guess the Skull Bomb makes a little more sense then, because now they get the oil counters matters things, but. Nah, I think I mm -hmm. take it, pack for two, then play the blade, blade hold. Yep, because that's double strike forever, right? It's yep. not just on your turn. Going to crack the skull bomb. Are they going to crack the skull bomb for its full effect? It looks like it, so they have a thing in their hand. They wanted to make sure it was going to live first. But I didn't want to trade. Okay, going for two. The mountain, four whip, with a good and pass turn. I'm curious what they have, cause oh, what? I'm confused now. Mm. <clears throat> hey, would you like to trade your four four for my two two token? No. Okay. That seems like an awful trade for them. Alright then. <clears throat> we'll play a 3 2 fire. Yep. And have your opponent be not at all. I am really curious where this is going. Or are they just reading it? They're probably reading it, but where it's going, as far as I'm concerned, is the three power double striking flyer next turn, most likely. Uh, see, I was wondering if they were trying to figure out what's a carnivorous canopy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, play your trick. I hope so. <laughs> yep. Good, we got rid of that one. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, kinda. Next turn, I can vanish something, so... Feeling okay. They do get to gain life there. Just kind of obnoxious. Oh, okay. So, is this the thing they cared about with the oil counter? Well, Maybe. they had the other thing with the oil counter, too, so... Maybe, though. So, yeah, the adaptive, he has oil counters on him, right? Yep. Okay. Hey, I will trade for your two little guys take four. I'm okay with that. Well, you still have a two-turn clock coming towards them. Yep. Four, three? That's an instant, right? Yep. Okay, cool. In that case, I can take six. I will end my turn. Because now they don't have anything with oil counters on, so even if they have more uh, trolls. trolls, they don't gain life. And if they have the fight card... They don't get to kill me, so... Yep, yeah, nope. 
Oh, wait, no, the five damage doesn't pick me up. Yep, that doesn't do it. Nope. Does not stop you. Does not stop you. Does not stop you. Okay. <clears throat> Great, we did it. We got the seven and two. And I got a cradle Ooh. clear cutter. And more experience. And all these packs. Hey. Let's go open some packs then. Oh, we got so many packs to open. Uh, let's see. We got Sea Chrome Coast. Can you after this one, or do you end on a win and come back tomorrow? Uh, I think we end on a win. Maybe throw out a raid. But first. We open all these cool packs. Everybody loves watching packs get opened, right? Uh, scroll. So how exactly is he the factor might? Hi, Malkator. I genu- I think the lore for Skrelv is that he's supposed to have been recycled at this point and just hasn't been, and nobody's been able to, like, capture him yet for that purpose. So he just keeps hiding in his little hive and... Oh, we got a mythic. It's the Mayhem Dominus. But... Yep. <clears throat> oh, the Malkators. He heard you <clears throat> like blue elements. I mean, yes. <laughs> mythic wild card, always nice. Lawrence Wellspring. Not as good as the woman herself. I mean, is anything in the set? Oh, more Kembas. Maybe there'll be a really good equipment deck in Standard, and I'll be happy I've got all these Kembas. What is her secret type again? Uh, Kemba, she's a cat warrior, I believe. Cat cleric. If she's a warrior, then she might slot into a samurai deck somewhere, as they really like their equipment. And we got a Phyrexian Dinosaur. Yes, you did. Okay. Hey, right. well, let's pop over here for a second. Do forward slash raid. We will head over to Octo's channel. See what he's up to. All right, but that's going to do it for me. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll be doing more of these during the week. And then I'll be posting them to my YouTube channel. Uh, so. That's going to do it for me. Have a good night.